Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. On today's first video, we are going to start making our way down the back line here. There's a whole lot of trucks that that, uh, that we want to see. Yep. Uh, these, these videos are going to be probably a little quicker paced than we like them to be, but when you're running your own truck show here, you get pulled in a lot of different directions. And we actually woke up early, and surprisingly enough, there's, it's really busy there's early. There's a lot in the morning. of people here for this early in the morning. It really I mean, is. Yeah, I mean we we woke up super early. We we got out here to the show and there's a lot of people that beat us here. Yep. And that normally doesn't happen. We try to make it to where you know we can get some time on camera and show you guys the videos, but uh, but anyway, there's a lot happening this morning, so we're gonna make our way down this line yeah. and get going here. Let's do it. All right, so the first one right here is this old Kenworth. And this truck, I like the old patina trucks. You, yeah. the, the hand lettering that's on this thing is has been on there for a long time. They're out of Coleman, Alabama. Um, I don't I don't know what year to even say this truck is, Tommy. I'm not even going to attempt it because I've I've tried to guess your models before, and we always get lit up in the comments. I'm uh, we we really like I, I don't I don't I don't know that there's a book for that, right? Like no, uh, to where we no. can start studying year models and and the different things. I can tell a little bit from uh, 379s and 389s. You know, I can tell you a little bit about kind of the age range they're in. Yep. But um, you start getting outside that, it gets hard to do. Yeah, just because this is this is obviously way before my time. Yep. Um, you know, I'm guessing this truck was born before I was. I'm thinking. That's so. what I'm gonna say. This, this we're going with that. Yeah. That's well. good. That, I like. Yeah. Let's go with that. <clears throat> Check out the inside here. I mean, it's the. It's in really good shape. Did you uh, check out the door handle's got a reflector on it? Might even be a light. I think it's just a reflector, but I really like the breathers too. Yeah. The air cleaner deal. Yeah, yeah. Where in the world does it get his air from? Uh, I'm gonna say or, this, or is it, this vent right is here. It, it is, so check this out. Sucks Look it in, in right there. The air's gonna go right up through the bottom. You know, changing the filter on this time would be pretty easy. Oh yeah, just, just a couple clips, of, you flip them open and you yeah, take these your little lid snaps. Off. I'm I'm desperately seeking a tag of any sort somewhere. No, no, we're gonna spend a lot of time trying to figure out what your model it is, and then somebody in the comments is gonna tell us anyway. It, it, yep. <laughs> the white engine definitely says older, older than, me. than me. Yeah, not older than you though. Oh whatever. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe not. All right, got us a 389 here. I like I like the white and silver gray color scheme. It's pretty nice. Yep. Looks like this thing's got a cat in it. Yeah, it's got some yellow peeking out on the the oil pan there. Yep. Probably a glider. Probably a glider. You know, Brian, one thing that's really cool about this truck is it's old. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Older than it looks. I don't want to say it's old, but it's definitely older than it looks. So in our antique class, you had to be a 1995 or older, right? Mm -hmm. This truck does not look that old. They've done a really good job making sure all the chrome and everything like that. It's all super pretty. It's been it's, restored at some point. I mean, yeah. this thing's been... It's got some good paint on the hood. I love, I love the way the windshield looks on this. Like split up really far split apart? windows. I mean, it's... it's And then back here they put a bed on it. I like to know what they what they pull on here because it's got a uh, it's got a winch. You know, you've got some scuff marks. You're putting something up here. I wonder what they do with it. I'd really like to know. Yeah. And then you've got two fifth wheel hitches back here. One for a camper and one for your big trailer. Yeah. Huh. Morning, guys. Good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you? How are you? Doing, Doing good. good. It's a neat truck. The exhaust goes over the frame and then inside, if you notice that, with the fuel tanks. Yep. It's got big fuel tanks on it and a little sleeper. Yep. That's definitely a Freightliner thing. I've worked on a lot of Freightliners. They do that a bunch. You know, Brian, I'm going to say we've got more Freightliners this year than we have ever had. Yeah. Ever. And some pretty neat antique ones. They're, they're, they're all really cool. The interior in this thing is pretty mint. It looks nearly brand new. Uh huh. I like the colors. I like this blue's cool. 
Hey, not throw anybody under the bus here. Do you know what year this one is? I don't. I don't know. I don't. But he just put it in the overall class, so I'm guessing he's later than 1995. Maybe so, yeah. This one here has the old style Able sleeper on. Able? Okay. That's an able sleeper. That's an able sleeper. Ah, okay. That's an able sleeper. So we don't, we're, we're, we're the, the older trucks, we're, we're getting history lessons today because we don't know a ton about them. Okay. So what year is it? That's a 99. It's a 99. Right. Okay. And the sleeper is an able. Okay. An it, able sleeper. The same one that Peterbilt used back in the day. Okay. Yeah, they used the same thing as an able sleeper. Really? Yeah, because okay. these that's not integral. That's not that's not integrated. That's you know that's got the boot in between it. Yep. Yeah. 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 We were just talking about it. It's, it's so it's a it's a separated cabin sleeper. Right. And you've got an able sleeper. I didn't that's even... an able sleeper. Yeah. Yeah. What year were those built? I have no idea. <laughs> I just know it was an able sleeper. Yeah. 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 It's like oh okay. You know. How long have you had this truck? Huh? How long have you had it? I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, a very long time. Yeah, long yeah time. my father bought it for me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's We're not, looking the interior. That's not my daily to... driver. My daily driver is a 2007 Freightliner Classic with the condo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because this one here is a little bit small. You need a little more room. Huh? A little more room. Oh, well, it is for. Yeah. Y'all, y'all truck together. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. That is really cool. Well, Where y'all from? Pennsylvania. Okay. Pennsylvania. But yeah, yeah. No, that's in. I've only ever seen one other truck like this, ever. It's unique. We were looking at it and kind of, well, we're learning now. <laughs> the interior, you, you've redone all the interior in it? Nope. That's all original? That's all original. You've kept it up amazing then. That looks real yeah. good. Well, it's, it's got 1.4 million on it. Wow. <laughs> on the truck. Yep. On the truck, it's got, the truck itself has got 1.4 million on it. What engine's in it? Detroit 60 Series. 60 series Detroit. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah. Well, thanks for telling tell us about it. We just learned a little bit. No problem. Yes, sir. No problem. We'll see you around. See ya. I'm yes. going to go see my buddy. All right. Rico. Rico. <laughs> Another Freightliner guy. <laughs> huh? He's, Rico's awesome. Yeah. Nice. Well, thanks for taking your time. No problem. Appreciate Thank it. You. Come on, buddy. Pretty neat. That is pretty cool. All right, so right here we have a 379. Yes, and it will confuse you. I mean, it really will. Like, like, cause you, yeah, you actually pointed this truck out to me earlier because walking and passing, I was like, oh, it's a nice 389 because you just you look at the headlights. That's the headlights the first, are the first thing. You're that's like, the first thing, and then you're like, nope, wrong. Wait a minute, look at the grill. Wait, look at the door handles. Yeah, the cab looks smaller. I'm not sure. The fenders. This is beautiful. It's painted pearl white. He was here last year. We checked this truck out. Um, some pretty some pretty neat things the red interior in this thing's awesome looking i like the red and white with it yeah very well kept truck looks super super cool back of the cabs all cleaned up yeah and one thing we pointed out was these uh the, it's like it's like a shock box cover i don't know if you call it that yep. on the 379 but it's just this big cover that kind of coincides with the extended cab it it really cleaned up the back side of this thing a lot. And I like I like how he's got his name and everything on these fuel tank covers. Yep. So any other time you look at a truck, the, the, you've got all this stuff on the fuel tank you have to look at. And it's kind of hard to hide that and it's a little busy looking. Yep. And this looks awesome because it, it ties the whole frame in, comes down, hides all that stuff, gives him a great place for his company name and DOT number. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's, a, it's, a good looking, uh, it's a good looking cover. Frame paint's awesome. The neat truck. All right, moving down the line. This is a. I'm not pretending like what. All right, so this is the fiberglass hood version. I think they called these 377s. So, so the the grill it mimics like a 379, and look at the the fender braces. Like they're 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 pretty old. Like this yeah. isn't this isn't a very new truck at all. No, and it's you know it's, it's an, an antique, antique class. class. You know, I mean, probably should have said that first. Like, <laughs> the, a little bit yellow, of a giveaway. The big bright yellow tag was a small giveaway. <laughs> small giveaway. Listen, we stayed up late last night having it was, fun with all our buddies. Yeah, no, it was it was a late night. You know, okay, so we know the truck is more than uh, almost 30 years old, yep. right? 1995 yep. was the cutoff. So one more year is definitely, it's definitely 30 years or older, right? Yep. Look how slick that frame paint is. 
I mean, someone's got some time and energy into making this thing look as new as it looks. Oh, they, they've redone everything. It's got the it's got air track on it. Yep. I mean, the paint on this looks almost new. I mean, it kind of is new. Yeah. It's pretty Let's slick. Just go with it. The paint looks new. This thing, they restored this whole deal. I mean, I'm, all the polish work's all done. I mean, I'm going to guess nice. this, this truck's had some paint. All right. Brian, what year model is this truck? Okay, listen, I've had some practice here. <laughs> okay. This... This is a Kenworth. I don't know, let me look under it. Maybe that would tell you what year it is. Is there anything under there that tells you maybe what the year model is? You would think there'd be something that would give it away. I think it's the step. The step's a dead giveaway. Yeah, because they didn't put, so it makes it older with the step for sure. Yeah. And then the bumper, the bumper. It's a small bumper. How would a man figure that out? I don't know. Um, they, they they didn't do fiberglass hoods forever, right? Right. So there's... Or did they? Yeah, they did. Because it's Kenworth. Maybe yeah, the new ones are, yeah, it's a Kenworth <laughs> thing. I feel like there's something around here that gives it away. <clears throat> there's something somewhere. That's what it was. That, uh, yeah. yeah, it was the, yeah, 1966 Kenworth. So we're, 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 we're being facetious or something here. It was pretty funny. We we're looking at this earlier. We're like, I wonder what year this is. And when like- And there's a tag. There's a tag. It, it took us 10 minutes to see the tag. I know it's funny because uh, Peter pointed it out to us. We were like, man, yeah. we're trying to figure out what your model that was. And I, I called it late fifties <laughs> is what I said. <laughs> and Peter's and like, did you look at the tag? Well, no. <laughs> because there's a tag on it that says it's a 1966. It was like, oh, got it. So the door is open and I love the dash of this truck. Yeah. It is the metal dash and this the way this stuff is. It's so hot rod. Like it's pretty neat. Two stick transmission. Check out the AC in here, Tommy. Whoa. So they to get into the sleeper of this, you got to go. You got to get out of the truck. Get into the sleeper. Your AC. He's added. He's added the AC in it. Um, and he's got his auxiliary power unit mounted back here. <laughs> I mean, listen, it's ingenuity. Yeah, that's that's one way to do it. If I've got to go down the road, if I'm going to drive this thing right now, yeah. I want AC when it's hot out here. And that's, he done it. Yeah, you know what's you know what's really interesting about like the way it's all set up is, is in order to get into the sleeper, you got you definitely have to get out of the cab. Yep. That's out of the you cab to up. get into the sleeper. And it's got the step here. Yep. I mean, that's, the, that's the deal. The boxes are neat looking. Yeah. Like everything about this truck's cool. It's got a lot of personality. The patina and the paint wearing through, like I like that stuff. No, that's cool. I honestly, I'm glad he left that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, let's let's move right along here. All right, picking up. We've got some pretty awesome cab overs over here from old time. Yeah. So the guys at Old Time Express, they've come and they've supported this show every single year. They always bring super cool cab overs and hang out. These guys, these guys have always been a blast to, to hang out with, and, and again, huge supporters of the semi-casual truck show, which we really, really, really appreciate. Um, those guys have always done well about as far as sponsorships, bringing equipment, bringing, you know, they bring people with them. It's got uh, a couple of 680s here. Yep. Yeah, they came out. They came out big this year, and they run a lot of older trucks, and they and they completely redo them and keep them on the road. It's pretty neat. And the guys are, you can't say anything bad about them they're no. awesome dudes no they've always been great to us they always put cool stuff in the goodie bags i mean they that they support the show heavily and we greatly appreciate that well, we got this guy over here yeah buddy cool breeze passenger side on the box sporting it you got you got the sticker yes sir yeah nice. i got the old uh, air freshener rocking right here too Keep Heck the yeah. smell nice so nice yeah and you're still uh, you're still doing you're still doing so anybody's watching this right now you, you're doing YouTube and a bunch of stuff too. Yes, sir. It's still going strong. Yeah. Oh yeah. Power moves all day long. So what uh what is your YouTube channel? Yes, sir. It's just Chad Keegan right here. So the thing I love about this guy right here is he's driving this truck and you're working it every single day. Yes, sir. And I mean you're doing it as old school as it's ever gonna get. Absolutely. No AC. Windows open, rolling down the road 70 mile per hour. I love it. How long have you been running this truck? Uh, I bought it in 2018. I've been work running it since 2019. I switch off and on from this and my other truck when I run it, but. That is that, awesome. It's, yeah, 
155 wheelbase spring ride. I uh, got uh, the cab air ride, so it's a little bit smoother. The original jump seat over there in the, the, with the box under it. So there's no spring ride, or there's no air ride, air ride in the passenger seat. I take my wife down to Florida, and she don't complain except for if we ride for too long. Yep. You know, other than that, you feel every bump because you're in a cab over. But I buy uh, Goodyear virgin tires to put on it, so they're a little bit more cushiony versus, you know what I'm saying, recaps or anything old. So. Yep. But other than that, man, it's a, it's been a solid truck for me this whole time. I've had to do, like, I put a clutch in myself in the driveway. I put water pump, starter, things like that, you know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. a little stuff. Other than that, the thing's been solid, and I'm not, it's a 350 big cam. I've never turned it up or tuned it or anything like that. They told me there was 10K on an in-frame, and it's got a, uh, with a brand new whole shot, whole shot turbo on yeah. it. So I figured it's fine. It does what I need it to do, and... It's not a race. And so. you're running around, you're making videos, you're documenting yeah. uh, the day in the life of working a cab over, which yeah. is really cool. Just like you would in 1983. Man, tell me I like the sticker. Yeah. No Hood Mafia. No Hood. That's great. That is pretty good. Well, man, we're going to get around and check some more trucks out. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. No yes, problem. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. That's pretty cool. So, we can cover this truck a minute. Yep. There's a whole video on this Marmon, so don't want to walk around in this video. Don't want to walk around and like pass it by. So if someone's if someone's seeing this, they're like, I can't believe you just passed by this Marmon. Didn't say much. It's yeah. because we've got an entire video on this truck and the history of this truck. I can tell you, it's a 1996, and they stopped making Marmons in 1997. See the video for future reference. <laughs> this guy has owned this truck for 26 years. His name is Joe David Smith. We had a ball making a video on this earlier and can't wait when you guys see it because there's a ton of history and we learned a lot about that truck. Yeah, there's a couple of firsts. The, this is the first time we've ever had a Marmon at our truck show yep. and this is the first time I actually got to get into a Marmon set in it. And check see it, it out. Smell it, appreciate it. It's, it's a cool video, you need to check that one out. So we got a, uh, so this is like a setup, Tommy, for, for like, like mobile, Holland mobile homes. homes. Yeah, I think. Uh, got a short hood. Uh, it had to be a short wheelbase, single axle. I mean, imagine you're, cause you're gonna try to take this, what are, how long are those things get? Like 80 feet and stuff. And then you're gonna try to put it in a driveway and then park it in between 10 trees. You know, it's funny we say that, but he's in the tow truck class. Well, I mean, it's, it's I guess. He's towing houses. Yeah, but you could say that about anything. I'm towing a dry van trailer. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's just look at the back. This is, let's just make sure. So we got some hitches on the back here. So this has got to be adjustable. Yeah. And obviously it can go way up here. Huh. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And look, you can, so you can move this. I bet it'd be a pretty fun video to do a ride along. Yeah. Like delivering and put and placing a mobile home. Cause that, that I mean, that, that's that got to be a pretty... I would think it'd have to be a pretty stressful job. Like, it's got to be challenging. Because, I mean, you would think a lot of those mobile homes, I mean, they have to be higher than, like, 14 foot, right? So you, you're doing a lot of route planning. Mm -hmm. You're doing a whole lot of uh, getting a hold of people and moving, um, you know, moving... Power lines. Power lines and all kinds of stuff. And it's like, you know, you, you got to go around bridges and things of that nature. Yep. So, I mean... And then when you get in there, you got parking, you got dodge trees and whatever else to get the whole thing in the, on the property. Yeah, and I'm, you know, I'm betting some of the... You know, some some of the land plots are probably pretty tight. Yep. We got Brutus over here, Bruce Wilson. He's got a whole bunch going on. Yeah, he's got his big he's tent. Got a whole he's tent got set the, up. He's brought the uh, Scania. The Scania. Yep. This is not the one we drove in our other video. No. Although we did do a video on me and Brian driving a Scania for the first time. Really strange gear pattern in the gearbox. And you use the clutch in every gear. It's yeah, all it's all weird. It's really really different. They're cool. They're cool. They're cool trucks. And he's got his hey, he's hey. got his heavy haul over there, and yeah. he's got a wrecker here, I think, somewhere too, because they're doing all the salvage work now. The SCR salvage thing. Yeah. So he he's got his Scania in the um, the cab, cab over. over class, which I think fits. Yeah, it's definitely. I mean, you couldn't say it was anything else. And it's so wild with these trucks. How's it going? It's just how big the sleeper is when you're. A lot of space in there. There's got to be seven foot. It's got seven foot ceilings. 
It's huge in there. And the ride on these things are surprisingly, I mean, you're sitting right over the axle, so you would think you'd feel everything in the road, but when the one me and you drove was just. It was four, it had four, they got four corner airbags on the on the cab. So yeah. when you go down the road, the trucks, the, the, the cab kind of does this number, and, and it feels super weird. It takes a minute to get used to. Yeah. So we got this one here, uh, day cab company, DC modification brought down here. This is a 589. Yep. And I think a lot of people that watch our videos will find something pretty interesting about the front of this. Somewhere in, uh, somewhere under the visor there? I think so. So they, they're releasing, they've got a, uh, they've got a split window kit. We're gonna find out some more on that. But they, there's, there's the first 589 we've seen with a split window. Pretty unique. That is pretty cool. All right, so picking back up, we got, <clears throat> I nicknamed this one the Wee Peat. The Wee like, Peat? He's a, this a wee little Peat. <laughs> the Wee Peat Herman. I like this thing, it's super cool. It's on a, it's on like a one ton chassis and uh, they put the Peterbilt cabin hood on there, made a flatbed with it. No, it's 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 definitely neat, unique. It's different. Like the first, I don't know, the first thing you think of, like when you come up on this thing, is like, how did they make it so small? Because yep. you think like the cabin, the hood is what makes the truck so big. But honestly, you just got to throw some, you know, some small wheels and tires on it. It really does bring it down to the ground. It does. It's pretty neat. We got Daryl's three fifty nine. You know, Brian, like generally the theme of our show is there is a whole lot of new trucks yep. and not as many antiques, but this that year, seems to have flip-flopped this year. A hundred percent. There is a whole lot of old trucks sitting around and it warms my heart. It really yeah. does. I know me and you don't know a whole lot about the old trucks. But we're like, we got an opportunity to learn a bunch so far this weekend. Yeah. And it, we're nothing if not traditionalists. Yep. I mean, we really, really like the old style, right? Which is, you know, that's why we're going strong with the uh, with the Pete's. This truck's been here uh, three or four years now. Yep. Uh, Charles, this is Charles Hale's truck. This thing is super neat. It's, it's, it's just, it's immaculate. I was talking with them when they were dropping the truck off and and just, you know, messing around with them. I'm like, so listen, what's the what's the dollar amount? What what, what are you what are you gonna sell this thing for? And he just laughs. He's like, nobody'll ever be able to buy it. No, no. There I don't I don't know that there is a dollar amount that can buy this truck out there. <clears throat> How about that? Yeah. So a big uh, huge uh oh he's got another actual hydraulic right ram and you can what? open the hood with this, yeah. That's super cool. I wonder if it's a two way. Does it close it? Um, I'm gonna s I, I'm gonna say no. Yeah. Because you've only got I only see one valve, one direction. I, I it would need another one on the on the opposite end or something to push back if it's only got I think. I don't know. I saw the two lines coming out, but they're in, connected. Out, yeah. Well, they're connected. I think yep. they're both in. Yep. I believe these work as an assist, so it'll it'll break the hood over to a certain degree, and then you can pull the rest of it. It's just so you don't have to like pull the whole hood yank the whole thing yep. yeah big v8 cat super clean this is a this is a very immaculate truck yeah if anybody out there is a johnny cash fan this truck is pretty darn cool because yeah we've done videos and everything else on this truck but originally ordered for johnny cash uh so that's, it, that's the story behind it. It's pretty company. neat. He's got the spec sheet with Johnny Cash's name on it, which is also really cool. Got a tow truck pulling in. Man, but there's there's still a lot of trucks rolling in, which is which is odd for a Saturday morning, but it's cool to see. Yep. Very, very cool to see. So now we've got a uh, Ford 9000 Classic XL. Wait a minute. Did Ford have a Classic XL or... I mean, I know Freightliner has a classic XL. See, this is this is where me and you are really handicapped on this this <laughs> old truck so knowledge. Because I mean, it'd be cool to be able to call this out, but I mean, I don't I don't know if Ford had a classic XL or not. I you don't would either. think you would think a company as big as Ford, if they did have a classic XL, and then a company like Freightliner comes out with a classic XL, they're probably going to have something to say about it, right? Right. So, 
I, I don't know. So this is a double eagle sleeper. Check this sticker out. Wow. I mean, this truck's in amazing condition. It really is in good shape. I thought that I thought it was pretty interesting uh, when it pulled in. This uh, this truck got here on Thursday, and when he pulled into the back parking lot, I was like, "Man, this thing is really neat." By the way, I think this is the one that is for sale. Which one? This yeah. this Ford. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's a neat truck. Okay, the next one, Tommy. I think we I think we end this video on the next one and we leave a cliffhanger on it. You know the cliffhanger we're talking I, about. I do, I do know the cliffhanger we're talking about. But we got right here. So this is just where we end the video right now. Just cut, we're cut. All right guys, that is it for this video. We got down this row, just the one row. We still, Tommy, have got to go all the way down there. And there's like four rows in the back. And all the way around the back of the building. And this video is pretty long for us going through stuff, but we've got some really awesome trucks here this year. We left off with, y'all seen this in other videos. Yep. Me and Tommy have been discussing things and there's some, there's some information coming out about this in a video very soon with large car, Steve's here. Yep. And so you and gotta do the stuff if you wanna know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this ain't gonna be the last time you guys see this truck. As long as you like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. At Semi Casual Show. On all those other ones. And then uh, I guess that's it for the show. Or this, for the, this, for this, this episode. We'll go make some more. All right, let's do this. See ya.